I'm going to show you how to display Hello World in the Blender Game Engine. When you start the Blender Game Engine, you go into real time interactive mode. Uh, when an event occurs, like the user pressing a key on the keyboard, Logic Bricks and Python code will um, respond to that event and do something. For instance, if I press W on the keyboard, uh, this setup will display Hello World. And if I press M on the keyboard, we get Hello Mum. If I press Escape, I get out of runtime mode. A mesh plane is usually used to display text. So first thing I'm going to do is delete the cube. Then I'm going to add mesh plane. Uh, I don't want quad view for this so I'm going to view and toggle quad view and view from the top zoom in a bit I'm going to uh, create a new window by dragging on the white stripes in this corner here that opens up splits the window into two if you want to close it back use the same hashing st same stripes to close it I want a UV window here, so I'm going to select the UV image editor and I'm going to click the plus here because some of the uh, menu items in here are useful, will be useful. Uh, I don't want these, so I'm going to close that up, zoom in a bit, move over a bit. I'm going to image, open an image file. Now. If I go into my Blender folder, uh, Game Kit 2 is a book, the Blender Game Kit 2nd Edition, um, and I got the information I needed to do it from there, uh, particularly a tutorial on making the tube cleaner game, and it comes with a disc, and in there is a bitmap file for Arial Black font. I'll put this on my website, but I'm going to open that. This button here will uh, pack an image as embedded data in the Blender file, so it's worth doing that. That will now be stored when you save the Blender file. Um, I'm going into edit mode and uh, to link the plane to the bitmap file I'm going to go into mesh UV unwrap and select unwrap now uh, we want to scale this so that uh, the UV map maps to the first character in the bitmap file so I'm going to press S to scale and shrink it right down to about a single character size G to grab and put it over the first character. I'm going to shift and middle mouse to pan and wheel to zoom in. Um, I'm going to scale a little bit and this time I'm going to press S to scale and X for X direction only and shrink in a little bit and G to grab just to perhaps one more S followed by X and G X okay so now we've um, UV mapped to a, this character if you this is quite critical actually changing the viewpoint shading to textured if you don't do that it tends not to work when you render it in the blender game engine and why it does that I'm not quite sure the other problem we have is that it's upside down and I found the cure to that is to go to mesh uh, mirror 
x global enter and mesh mirror y global and enter the next critical thing we have to do is go into the property specific to the mesh and when you're in edit mode you get an extra panel uh, these are properties relevant to the game engine and you must tick text enable bitmap text on face if you don't it won't work okay now I'm going into the game logic layout make sure you've got the blender gate uh, blender renderer now with the plane selected you have to add a property you must name that property text spelt with a capital T if you use a small t it won't work I'm going to change the type to string and the initial value to Fred uh, now it won't run unless you go into uh, object mode now if I start I get uh, the letters Fred but no text displayed and the reason being that I haven't gone into textured in the view window now why that should affect when you're rendering with a game engine the the view uh, real-time rendering I don't know but it is critical so you must change that to textured uh, let's zoom in a bit now if I change this to Barney it doesn't change unless I go to solid and back to textured not sure why but it does display when we go into runtime escape from that so how do we display hello world interactively uh, well I'm going to set up some logic bricks I'm going to move that over a bit zoom in with the mouse wheel shift and middle mouse button to pan up I'm going to add a keyboard sensor click there and press W for world I'm going to add uh, an AND controller and a property actuator when you press W uh, a signal will pass straight through the AND gate to the actuator which will respond to the event it will assign to the property text a value hello world a string hello world it's a string so you must put it in quotes and uh, it's quite a long string that so I need to make some room so I'm going to zoom back here and shift and middle mouse button to pan and let's start that and press the W key and we get hello world press escape to get out of run mode now I don't want these cutout letters I want a solid uh, black back display so how do I do that well first of all I'm gonna uh, give meaningful names to the plane I'm gonna call this uh, mesh display uh, text and I'm going to add another plane and I'm going to call this plane uh, mesh display and I'm going to press S for scale make that a bit bigger and then I'm going to press S for scale followed by X and stretch it then I'm going to press G to grab followed by X and center that that's about right actually um, then I'm going to put the outliner here select the uh, 
display text and I'm going to change the Z value to 0 0.001 one thousandth of a blender unit in front so uh, now I'm going to group these together by parenting the text display to the display. Now before you parent anything, uh, the child will inherit any location, rotation or scale. So the big display is going to be the parent, so I need to object, apply location and that resets all the location values to zero and I want to reset all the scale values to one so I do object apply scale and now I can select my uh, text display and just give it the parent of the display plane and now if I pick this up G to grab uh, I can move those together When we start the Blender game engine, the text, I'm going to press escape to get over it, the text has specular highlights. And uh, while that's on, it's not going to blend in with the background. So how do we turn it off? Well, for this tutorial, I'll show you the simplest method. Um, and I'm going to select the text display and I'm going to add a material. So I'll call this matte display text. And I'm going to uh, put that uh, to preview plane and I'm going to set the diffuse color to black there you see the specular highlight and we take that off by again dragging that down in specular and now there's no specular highlight uh, now if we run that we get black on black so how do we fix that well if we go to the material uh, we have to add texture and I'll call this texture display and that must be set to image or movie and at that point I put both there um, we need to click to find the image we've already loaded and that puts it in now because when we uh, first uh, unwrap the plane and link that that linked it to that texture and it will re automatically automatically put the UV mapping in so that when I go to start uh, it's automatically mapped correctly the UV mapping let's press escape there For this uh, simple method of setting up the materials, all I have to do now is select the back display and create a material for that. So I'll just call this matte display. And it is a different material to the one applied to the inner text. Put that to plain and again put the diffuse to black and the specular and now if we click start we get black on black and if I press W we get hello world for simplicity and brevity I've skipped over a few things uh, if I show you the file that uh, I showed at the beginning of the tutorial uh, the obvious 
thing is that I use Python code instead of a properties actuator to um, assign the text to the property. I also only used one material for both uh, the text display and the background and if you do that in the texture settings uh, you have to go to mapping and set some of the UV properties. I'll put notes about both in the notes that go with this video tutorial and I'll put the files and the notes on my website freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. Uh, thanks for watching and 